Oh, we talked for like 24 minutes. It was intense. Do you know what her favorite movie franchise is? Blood Dead. How'd you know? And you know the sweet phone that I got? Yeah. She's got, got the, the same, same one. one. Yeah. You know what? I think you found your soulmate. I, I think so too. So did you get her number? Uh, I choked. What do you mean you choked? Did you even try? Well, I got all, you know, weak need and like I shrinkage and, you know, sweaty palms and sweaty everything, really. You know what I think? I think you're in love. I haven't felt like this since high school. My girlfriend, Amy, we used to make out underneath reversing call sign. Like, every day, it was, there was something there. Well, how'd you hook up with her? Oh. Funny story is kind of a... Um... Is that Adam? Yeah. Who's he talking to? Is that a prostitute? Oh, this is too good. What should we do? <laughs> Get in the picture. So I had like long curly hair for a while and then I lost it in a force field. Then when I came out, I had long straight natural hair for a long time, but then it got ripped out by a wrestler. So I've just been shaving it since then. Uh, well, you look very handsome. Thank you. Adam, do you know these jokers? No, uh, well, kind of. Are they coming over here? I think they're trying to take our picture. <laughs> We can see you over there. You're not even really hiding. I'm... Good evening, ma'am. Ah. Actually, hi. Uh, I'm Adam's father. Hi. Hi. Oh, I'm James. Adam, I didn't even know you had a father. I've known him since the fourth grade. Oh, first yeah. mention. He's not really my father. Okay, well, he's my father, but this isn't what it looks like. To me, it looks like your father is a transvestite prostitute. Yeah. That's because I am a transvestite prostitute. Oh, well, he, wow. he is, but I'm not propositioning him. Well, we kind of assumed that once you said he was your father and all. Oh. Listen, Adam's mother and I separated when he was very young, and I moved to L.A. because the court said that my choice of lifestyle might be harmful to the child's development. Oh, which part? The cross-dressing or the prostitution? The meth. Oh, the meth. Yeah. And so one thing led to another, and, well, I'm back. <laughs> wow! Fantastic! What are you guys doing right now? Can I hang out with you? Actually, I need your help with something. No, with, with what? what? Girl. Ah. What would you want his help for? When was the last time you got laid? Irrelevant. I know females. Really? It's true. He knows exactly what to say to women, even though he never says those things. I'm very picky. He helped me get Amy. It's not my nerves, okay? I don't get nervous. Nobody said you did. It's, that's what it is. It's his nerves. He gets all combative when he gets nervous. I don't get nervous. I've never been nervous a day in my life. I will fight you. I will fight you right now if you can come up with one time that I've ever been nervous. Whatever. Are you in or are you out? Yeah, I'm in. Well, all right, guys. Look, I, I got to go. I got to work in the morning. Good. All right, well, see you later, man. See ya. Bye. Good night, Adam. Bye, Dad. Good night, um, Madam Landry. Okay, so her name is Pauline. She works here? Yeah. Uh, I think she might be out of your league, man. Just like, no, relax. We got this. All right, just one drink, you get the information you need, then we get out of here. I haven't seen you like this since high school. Hopefully you can work your magic again. I'm pretty sure I can. So that was your father? Biographically. Do you mean biologically or according to a book that was written with? Your family's not perfect either. I never said they were. Oh wait, here she comes. I don't know you. She was talking to me. Um, yeah, well, he said he wanted a drink, and I said I knew this place around the corner that had a great bartender, so here we are. <laughs> great, what are you gonna have? I have to go to the bathroom. Uh, just a couple of beer. Sure. Tim, thank God you answered. I need your help. I like a girl. Hey, you don't need my help with that. You always know what to say. Yeah, but I always forget to say those things, and pretty sure that this is the big one because James likes her too. Oh, that is a big deal. I think I have an angle on this. 
Why don't you call me tomorrow, and we can meet up and we can talk then. You're staying at my house! Yeah, well, I still appreciate the call. Same time as now. But, uh, it's not his bad as No, can't. Let's say I like, uh, figure it. Hey, Adam. She accepted my friend request. Awesome. What do I do now? Do I message her right away, or do I, like, play it cool? I don't care. Play it cool. What is with you today? She messaged me. Really? Yeah, she said. Hi. Let me see that. Wait 23 minutes and say, hey, to spell it wrong. Really? Yeah, you gotta make her wait, and I hate it when you care too much. Whatever. Uh, what do we do in the meantime? We get strategy. So what's the plan? First, let me ask you a question, James. What do you think turns women on today? I don't know, adventure, excitement, guys with um, muscles? Boredom. Boredom? Think about it, what do you do when you're bored? I don't know, like, go for a drive or something. Masturbate. You masturbate. I... I guess sometimes... I masturbate. Ergo for, if boredom makes you do that... Think about it. I see where you're going with this, I just don't think... Do the math! What math? I, I... I see where you're going, I just don't... Have I ever steered you wrong before? Several times, just last week, when we okay. were going to the... I, I helped you get Amy though, didn't I? Fine. We'll do it your way. Not like I have any better ideas. No, you don't. So can I message you back now? 21 more minutes. Oh my god, she messaged me. She wants to go on a date. What do I do? Say no. Too late, I already said yes. So, James already has a date. Sounds to me like he's got a pretty good lead on you. Yeah, until he tries to bore her into having sex. Yeah, I told him that works, and he believed me. That's impressive. Okay, so I got fish book on you now. What? Type in her name. Okay, it's Pauline some. Oh, there she is. Now what? Click on it. Uh, left or right? Left. Yeah, one or two. What? Did you say left or right? Never mind. Just let me do this. Okay. Thanks a lot, man. I, I don't think I could do this without your help. And I know it's crazy. We only talked for like 30 seconds, but I'm in love, man. I know it. And it's not just because James is in love with her. We had a connection. She and I. She felt it, too. Then there's James. I mean, he's a good guy, but... I don't hate him, but I'm going to totally steal this girl from him. James is going to regret the day he ever asked me to help him with anything. Tim, are you paying any attention? Yeah, yeah. I hate James. When I first laid eyes on her, it was like the whole world around me just disappeared into a blur. And then a choir of angels came down from heaven. Are you writing any of this? No, but I got you a date. Really? Yeah. That was easy. But it's going to start off as James's date. What do you mean? Well, here's how it's going to go. If your plan works and James bores the hell out of that girl, then you're going to look pretty friggin' awesome showing up in my dad's new sports car. Yep, that is a good plan. Good thinking, man. Time to bring the old gang back together. What was that? Uh, Factory Boys Forever. Yeah, obviously. How's it going, anyways? Yeah, I hear you. It's been a while. I see you every day. We drop your kids off at school. Yeah, but it's been a while since we did the gang thing. <laughs> Too long.
gentlemen. The old gang, thanks for coming. It's been a while, and I know you're probably asking yourself why I invited you to this little soiree. I wanna know, I wanna know. All in due time, Tonil. But first, Detroit, what have you been up to lately? You must be military by now. They couldn't handle me. I had security over at Reversing Falls Elementary. Oh. And you better something good lined up, because those kids aren't even a challenge anymore. Oh, believe me, I do. We're gonna stage an elaborate carjacking so I can heroically save my true love, Paulette, I think. It's gonna be great. So what do you want me to do? Good question. Is that your car out there? Yeah, it's brand new. It'll do. So you want me to do the getaway driver? No, Adam's gonna be driving it. Who's he? Jesus Christ, Toenail. Adam's the guy we're gonna be carjacking. Pay attention. Okay, so I think we have this straight. When Adam and Polly come up around the corner, Toenail's gonna to flag them down. How do we know Adam's gonna stop? Good question. Be sure you get right in front of the car, okay? So Tornado flags them down and asks them directions or something. That's why I pulled the smoke grenade. No, we're not going to do that. No smoke grenades. We won't be able to see. Neither will the enemy. Detroit, listen to me. No smoke grenades. Fine. Okay. When Tornado goes in to distract them, Detroit, you come out of the bush with your assault rifle. Setting the scene for me to swoop in and save, um... What's her name? Never mind. Save the girl. And then I'm going to kick your guys' asses and I'm going to steal your car and leave. James. Boring. Hey, what's Hi. up? Where are we going? Um, I figured we could just uh stay in and watch a movie. Are you are you sure about that? My roommate Ashlyn is here actually. Oh, don't mind me. You won't even know I'm here. Well, I got a bootleg copy of Blood Death Seven. Oh, awesome! She loves made for TV sequels from her brother's childhood. Um, I know it's not the most exciting blood death, but I mean, it did win an Academy Award for lighting. We know you did it, Bags! You killed our bros! I want to hear it from your mouth. I want to hear a confession. I'll never talk. I want answers, Bags! Why did you do it? They were our bros! They were your bros. My bros. My bros. What about Pierre? What about Swirly? What about Terry, Colin, and Winston? What about Boxfoot? I only met him that one time. He was your cousin. Wow, I forgot how much I love this movie, James. So, uh, Pauline, what do you think of the, uh, the lighting? Uh, it, it's alright, I guess. I mean, I have two older brothers, so I've seen this movie a bunch of times, but I really just like the first two. Oh, um, well, maybe there's something else on. I mean, the news, I'm sure something happened today. Wow, James, what a riveting first date. I can't even imagine what you've got planned for the second one. Well, I... You probably yeah, don't usually I, go that far, am I right? Um... Actually, I'm sorry, Pauline, I just must be jealous. Where's the bathroom? It's just over there, by the kitchen. Thank you. Hello. I need some better advice. What do you mean? What I told you was rock solid. You told me to make her bored. It takes a while, but trust me, it works. Yeah, well, she's got this terrible roommate who's been making fun of me since I got here. And... Wait, I can hear her now. Yeah, she just called me a vagina. I mean, she's got a roommate, eh? Yeah, and she hates me. And soon Pauline's gonna hate me, too. Because of you. Have you ever wanted a three-way, James? Is that a trick question? Well, if you play your cards right and listen to me, you'll be boring your way into a menagerie trois in... Okay, James, just like Mom always said, be yourself and let your charm shine through. This is Red Red Wine calling, pour some sugar on me, pour some sugar on me, do you copy? This is pour some sugar on me, what's your 20? Over. The target has gone rogue, I repeat, the target has gone rogue. It's all you from here on out, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks again for helping me, man, I mean, I really appreciate it, I don't think I can.
The wallaby hops in the night. Repeat, the wallaby hops in the night. I'm so sorry I was acting weird earlier, but my cat got out the other day and I was just, oh, so stressed out I couldn't believe it. We are so sorry, aren't we, Ashlyn? Mm-hmm. It's okay now. I mean, my neighbor called. She has the cat inside now. Everything's okay. Okay, good. Are you gonna go get that? <sighs> Just a second. Hey, baby, is that guy boring you? No. Well, are you, you sure you wouldn't want to go someplace private in my awesome new sports car? Um, your friend and I are actually kind of on a date right now. Yeah, I'm way more exciting than that guy. Check out my awesome car. That's a nice car. You have a good night now. This sucks! I am twice as in love as James is, three times even. Why does he get to go on the date and not me? Hey, Adam. Hi, Dad. What's the matter? Nothing. What's with the wig? Well, I heard you say that you were in love. Yeah, I am. Can I tell you something? Yeah, sure. What? If I walked away every time a woman said no, you'd never been born. Really? Do you really mean that? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. But if it doesn't work, after two times, give up. No means no. Believe me. I know. You're right, Dad. I'm gonna try one more time. Once more. And that's it. I don't. Wait, is, is Pauline home? You know Pauline's here. She just told you she doesn't want to hang out with you. Well, tell her it's important. Pauline, he says it's important. Nope, still doesn't want to hang out with you. Wait a second, wait a second. Did you just grab my boot? No, I didn't. Ah! What's with your friend? He just grabbed my boot. What? What? Adam, well, I mean, he's got some problems. I mean, he's a little strange. I'm calling the cops. No, don't call the cops. I mean, he's just Jake, a little. Maybe you should go and you can try and take Adam with you. Oh, okay, um, can I call you tomorrow? I, I really don't think that's a good idea. Oh, okay then. <sighs> it's okay. You are a person worth knowing, and she will see that. You are a good person. What the hell is wrong with you? You knew I liked her. Why did you have to ruin this for me? I love her, James. I'm sorry. No. Not as sorry as you're gonna be. <laughs> oh. Come on, Dad, let's get out of here. I can't believe this. This is the worst night of my life. Well, at least we got to spend some quality time on the other side. Carter, Clark, go on smoke grenade. What did I say? No smoke grenade! What is going on? Did a little person fall asleep. What do we do now? We go for it. What, what do I do? Man, wow, you do not look like your Facebook profile. You must be a wizard at Photoshop. Ah, ow! Adam, I'm sorry. I'm in love. I saved the girl. Now it's time to make sex. I charged 300 a night. That's not Pauline. Who's Pauline? Tell him to let me up. Uh, let him up.
Pauline's the girl we're all in love with. That's my dad. Oh, oh. <laughs> that explains the beard. Tim, nice to meet you. Oh, okay.